flow is how to know if detachment or indifference is growing within it is not really difficult to know how do you know when you have a headache and how do you know when you do not have it is simply clear when you are growing in detachment you will become healthier and happier your life will become a life of joy that is the criteria of all that is good joy is the criteria if you are growing in joy you are growing and if you are getting and you are getting towards home with indifference there is no possibility that joy can grow in fact if you have any joy that will disappear happiness is health and to me religion is basically hedonistic hedonism is the very essence of religion to be happy is all the word hedonism originates in ethical philosophy where axiological and value hedonism is the claim that pleasure is the sole form of intrinsic value on the contrary normative or ethical hedonism claims that pursuing pleasure and avoiding pain for oneself and others are the ultimate expressions of ethical good applied to well-being or what is good for someone it is the thesis that pleasure and suffering are only components of well-being so remember if things are going right and you are moving in the right direction each moment will bring more joy as if you are going towards a beautiful garden the closer you come the air will be fresher cooler and more fragrant that will be the indication that you are moving in the right direction if the air becomes less fresh less cool less fragrant then you are moving in the opposite direction the existence is made of joy that is the very stuff joy is the stuff existence is made of so what so, so whenever you are moving towards becoming more existential you will be becoming more and more full of joy delight for no reason at all i repeat it you will be becoming more and more full of joy and delight for no reason at all if you are moving into detachment love will grow joy will grow and attachment will drop naturally remember attachment brings misery bondage and destroys your freedom indifference is a pseudo coin it looks like detachment but it only looks like detachment nothing will be growing in it you will simply shrink and die so go and see there are so many monks in the world catholic hindu jain buddhist watch them they do not give any radiant feeling they do not have the aura of fragrance they do not look more alive than you are in fact they look less alive more crippled and more paralyzed 
controlled of course but not in a deeper inner discipline controlled but not conscious following a certain conscience that society has given to them but not yet aware not yet free not yet individuals they live as if they are already in their grave just waiting to die their life becomes morose monotonous and sad it is a sort of despair beware whenever something goes wrong there are indications in your being sadness is an indicator depression is another indicator so is joy and celebration an indicator more songs will happen to you you if you are moving towards detachment you will be dancing more and you will become more loving whatsoever be your profession for living you will be finding more uh, flowing into that people will be connected to you through whatever is your manifestation remember love is not attachment love knows no attachment and that which knows attachment is not love that is possessiveness domination clinging fear and greed it may be thousand and one things but it is not love in the name of love other things are being happening in the name of love other things are hiding behind but on the con container the label love is stuck inside you will be you will find many sort of things but not love at all watch if you are attached to a person you are in love or are you afraid of aloneness so you cling because you cannot be alone and use this person so as not to be alone then you are afraid if a person dies or moves somewhere else or falls in love with someone else then you will kill that person and you will say i was so much attached or you may kill yourself and you will say i was so much attached that i cannot live without her or without him but when love grows such is not the case it is sheer foolishness it is not love it is something else you are afraid of your aloneness you are not capable of being with yourself you need someone to distract you and you want to possess the other person you want to use the other person as a means for your own ends to use another person as a means is violence emmanuel kant has made it one of the fundamentals of moral life it is he used to say that to treat a person as a means is the greatest immoral act there is it is because when you treat another person as a means you for your self gratification for your sexual desire for your fear or for anything else when you use another person as a means you are reducing the other person to be a thing you are destroying his or her freedom you are killing his or her soul the soul can grow only in freedom love gives freedom and when you give freedom you are free as well 
remember when you give freedom you are free as well that is what detachment is loved ones i am creating a situation through my presence physical or subtle for you to experience freedom as the fragrance of my love for you if you enforce bondage on others you will be in imprisonment on your own accord if you bind the other the other will bind you if you define the other the other will certainly define you you are trying to possess the other the other will possess you that is how couples go on fighting for domination for their whole life the man in his own way and the woman in her own way both struggle it is a continuous nagging and fighting the man thinks that in some way he controls the woman and woman thinks that in some way she controls the man control is not love and cannot be love in any way freedom is the essence of love never treat any person as means treat everybody as an end in himself or herself only then you are a religious person then you do not cling then you are not attached you love but your love gives freedom you love but your love gives freedom and when you give freedom to the other you are free only in freedom does the soul grow bliss overflows you will feel very very happy and blissful the world has become very unhappy not because the world is an unhappy thing but because we have done something wrong to it the same world can become a celebration for you if you look deep within this is your experience before going deeper into meditation the world the surroundings were like a bondage for you there was no freedom of any kind but the same world as the meditation deepens has become a celebration for you introspect enough for now